We won. Um, you know what I actually didn't know that I was actually slated to speak, so my comments will actually be brief. My name is Kenneth Chamberlain Jr. I am a community advocate. I am a police reform activist here in Westchester County. I am one of the co-founders of the Westchester Coalition for Police Reform. This is a coalition that was founded in 2011 after the killing of my father, Kenneth Chamberlain Sr. The objective of the coalition is it's very simple. We want to build trusting relationships between law enforcement and the communities that they serve. This is, this is our job. So I'm out here because as a member of that coalition and as one of the co-founders, we are willing to even act as a go-between between the community out here and the police department. And I have spoken to some of their officers on their department already. So I do have some relationships with them. But I will just simply say this. The government, its agents and officials are to be held to the same set of rules that enables a fair and functioning society. That is the rule of law, okay? And when the rule of law is not adhered to, when, when you don't see that happening, well, let's just say absolute power corrupts absolute. That's what ends up happening. So you'll have a city or even a county of those who are in power and then you have the powerless. And then who are they to turn to when they can't turn to the same people who sworn oath to serve and to protect? And even our, even our elected officials, they are included in that because elected officials are law enforcement as well. So other than that, the understanding is this, the government and its people are to be publicly and legally held accountable in all that they do. So if that's not happening, then yes, oversight is needed. You need people to come in and monitor what's actually taking place. So although I do not know all the particulars of this incident that happened out here, I do stand by independent oversight. I do stand by civilian complaint review boards with subpoena power. And I stand by the council out here that's asking for that. Thank you. The next person to speak is gonna be uh, our chairperson from the Grand Council of Guardians, Mr. Charles Billa. Um, morning. My name is Charles Billups. I'm, I'm the chairman of the Grand Council of Guardians. I represent a large number of black law enforcement throughout New York State. I came here on behalf of the call from the Councilman Wallace um, in the idea of support. Uh, I'm here today to support him and also to, to express First Amendment. First Amendment is a great thing. And the idea of, of expressing what's thought and what's being given out and how one is being treated. But today it, it takes it a little further and it talks about politics. Politics as usual. Things need to be changed. It talks about things that need to be looked at differently and how it needs to be approached. The, the sadness about all of this, we're talking about a city which is majority black and how the majority administration is black. And, and the idea of a black councilman who was, I, I would say, harassed, more or less, in, in a way how he didn't get real justice. Because if it was anyone else, and if it wasn't for a black person, they would have got justice. Right, so, right. so today we talk about truly looking at justice. That's right. I'm, I, again, as the young man said earlier, and it all been said, I don't know the true particulars, but the idea of true justice, yeah. and that's what we should be looking at today and how we should be dealt with. And, and on the idea of representation of dealing with the police department, again, I am law enforcement, um, and I represent a large number of law enforcement, and, and, and I will end this by saying, you don't get a carpenter to do plumber's work. You don't, do you don't get an electrician to do carpenter's work, so you don't get a waste management to be police commissioner. Thank you. At this time, we're going to open up for a few brief questions uh, from the media. All right, so I have a question for you. Uh, knowing that there is a lot of conflict between police and uh, government in general, don't you feel that your statement is a kind of uh, 
inflammatory and might cause further problem in the community because now they might not trust don't trust the police. And the second question is, the gentleman just that just finished talked about justice. When was the last time that the body got together to fight for justice for somebody else? We have. We have. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when was the last yeah, time? Yeah, you got you got you got Nas. We, you got you got a number. We we have a number. That that's in fact that I, I find I find your question to be insulting. Uh, because no no, but it's insulting. And the reason why it's insulting because you act as if this is the only time we have come together to address community concerns. That's right. Almost every, standing behind you just for a moment ago, you had the snug program. I have. And a number of us have. I've been engaged in over 60 murders, homicides mm -hmm. in Mount Vernon since I've been here, where we marched, right. where we had town hall meetings, right. where we brought the DA in, right. where we asked uh, for, for oversight. This was not our first time. Yep. We have always supported each other. We have never, it's no, never been that our community don't come together where the leadership doesn't come and express itself. That's right. And for your, and I find that again, as you asking that we are only standing with our city council member, yeah, we, 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 we are offended by what occurred with our political leadership. The mayor should not be assaulted. City councilmen should not be assaulted. Any political representative should we never be touched. Assaulted. And furthermore, our citizens right. should never be, 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 be assaulted or hurt. So that, that question to me is offensive. Well, sir, I thank you for your answer. Yeah. But my question it was exactly to get you to tell, let the audience know okay. that you did have been, you've been together. We've been, so for, for, we year, for we years, for years, for years, we are not, 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 not for years, we are but, but let me say, not only, not, hold on, excuse me, not only have we been, excuse me, not only have we been together, I've handed you a packet of several letters from the council addressing these issues with the mayor and nothing has been done. And we have talked about it, we have made calls, we have, we have rallied, we've done it all. So basically at this point when you have a mayor that is really out of control and a lawless person, you will not get justice, okay? You will not get justice. You, he protects only those in his crew. And I say that loosely. But that's who he protects, and that's the representative. Not, he doesn't represent the city or the citizens. He represents those who pay him, that's those right. who come under his administration that's and do right. what he says. Right. He thinks he's a Gestapo, right. and that does not work in a democracy here, that's especially right. not in Mount Vernon. That's right. Thank you. That's right. Can I say something? Can I say something? I have to say something. Ben from Yonkers Voice. Thank you, sir. Now, what about the other question? What about was the, the friction that is my further the friction between police and I'll answer that really quickly. Okay, there is already friction. That's why we are here today. Okay, we have murders that are not being on, that are not being solved. We have commissioners, and we have we have actually councilmen that are getting assaulted. Okay, we have other police uh, uh, folks in the department that are being demoted because they are not following through with the corruption. We have that over and over and over. The police and the community need to come together. How could there be trust? We have great offices, okay? But it's the upper management and the administration that is corrupt. So it's corrupt from the top. It's gonna mess up what's going on on the bottom. The head is what sends the signal right. throughout the right. body. For right. body have, um, yes. would, you be, would you be willing to accept state or federal oversight of the city council and the mayor also in order to address some of the issues? Yes. Yes. Oh, of course. Yes. What you're discussing. Of course. If they ain't us, there's no what we what we are here we are is now at the point not where we're asking for oversight. We are demanding oversight, and we are not and we are not asking or demanding for anything more than other communities would expect without even asking. But we have to continuously stand up, march, and come together over and over and over to get some kind of oversight, and it still hasn't happened yet. So. We are questioning why. It's because you're the original man and you're being held by by Farrakhan. You follow your Next leader. question. You gotta know who your leader is. Next question. You know that you know. Ty, Ty? That's what you need to know.
First of all, we have Cheryl County. Excuse me. You want to answer it? You know, you know. I think as as I hear and I see, as a councilwoman for the past eight years, that we're dealing with an administration as a, as Bill Maher would say, new rules. Well, new rules cannot happen in a government where a city charter was made many years ago. The mayor raised his hand to follow the city charter when he took office. And now all of a sudden it's new rules. I can do whatever it is that I choose to do. The council also took an oath to follow the city charter and to address the concerns of the citizens of this community. We are here today because we have been addressed by the citizens of the community to gather together to stand up and talk about this. Many of the citizens would like to come out, but they're fearful of retaliation. We want to show the community that this council is for the citizens and will do whatever we can to protect them. First of all, you get away from the city and be Thank your own you. organization. And just, and just, and just to add, so just to add like to your question, just to add to your question, Ty, uh, we are here to make sure that facts come out. Because when the mayor speaks, it's always in factual. Okay? So what we are here to do is make the facts come out. Okay, he runs around and says the police, the, 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 the council and the controller will not fund a police commissioner. And he asked the question in one of his letters, okay, what community would ever get rid of their police commissioner? Well, he's got rid of three of them, okay? And he has one that's acting, and that is what he's doing now, acting, because he has no power. So we're still asking, after over a year, what is taking the process so long to find a qualified police commissioner? The budget money has been on the side for over a year. Why has he not produced a commissioner? And like I said, because he does not have the say so, he has to consult with the man in charge, who is the man who is the garbage man. And I don't have nothing, nothing against the garbage man, but this is not his business. His business is garbage. So that's what he needs to do and stay out of the police station. That's right. That's right. Next question. There right. shouldn't be no police courtroom in the first place. That's That's a okay, any other questions? 1992. The administration and supporters of the administration often say that uh, you're only saying this because you want to be the mayor and you're trying to discredit the former mayor, the mayor that's mayor now. That's why you're going after him. Um, <laughs> I took an oath, that is not true. okay, of office <laughs> to do a job. I didn't come here like others to get a job. I came here to do a job. That's right. And that is the job I'm doing. When I took an oath, I take my oath serious. Okay? And that comes with integrity. We are the checks and balances of the city and government. And we are here to make sure we do that. And when things are not right, we are here to make sure that is pointed out. That's right. And that is corrected. That's right. But we have administration that refuses to go along with what policy and procedures are. It has nothing to do with a battle between me and the mayor, because this is between the mayor and the city council and the controller and the citizens of Mount Vernon that have a problem. This is not me against him. So that is the problem. And that if you want to be the mayor, okay. you do a good job in what you're doing and run for election. Thank you. Any more questions from the media? Councilman, is it possible uh, you could put a meeting between you and the mayor so you all can sit down with the clergy and find solutions? To clergy, done Ben, done that. that. Ben, we let's have done you that. Ben, Ben, Ben. ben. We, have, we, have ben. we have sat ben. down We have ben. sat down with the clergy yeah, you know and the mayor. Do, we have sat the mayor. down with the, the mayor, with the controller and everybody else. We had had numerous meetings with him. And once we, he says yes, 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 and once he walks out the meeting, he does something totally the opposite. We have sat down with clergy and everybody else, and we, and clergy was there. We all agreed on a police commissioner, and we set a salary. Why has he not gotten a police commissioner after a year? And stop with the rhetoric and the nonsense accusing the council and the controller of defunding it. Okay? Ask the mayor those questions. 
They are basic questions. Why have we not, this is the questions. Why have we not gotten a police commissioner when the funding is available? That's one. Two, why do we have a garbage man as a deputy police commissioner that has threatened me, that has threatened my life, that has put out infamous amount of material right. on people, right. okay, and who has been very vindictive on those who have not followed his law and rule. This is the same man that has sent people who tried to frame me to the Department of Labor to investigate me about prevailing wage, which end up being cleared. He sent people and police officers on Mount Vernon citizens' dollars and time to go run around okay downtown investigating me okay to find out things this is the same mayor that has the police detail driving around his family to go shopping and do their nails and go to broadway place right. this is taxpayers right. money tax when payers. i talk about this stuff i'm not angry stops. and nor do i have anything against the mayor himself right. it is the policies and procedures i am a taxpayer when you are wasting money you are wasting my dollars and I pay a lot of taxes in this town. And I am speaking not as a councilman at this point, but as a taxpayer. So when these things are not accomplished, it affects us all. And, an, and another thing, and another thing too, I could go down the list of many, many things, but we, we don't have that much time. Okay, I'm gonna take one last question. Okay, one last question for press. Okay, all right, well, we're gonna conclude this at this time. Thank you all for coming out. Thank you. Have a